Okay, let's continue this uh, lesson. Um, so we're trying to use a floor plan creator to create a floor plan um, and determine the size of the room that we want. Now, engineers and architects don't use floor plan creator. This is for for hobbyists. So if you are, uh, you know, you have a small project in the backyard that you want it to be like a small um, house. Um, then you can use this certainly, but architects would have to use AutoCAD. And uh, we're using this tool to determine the sizes of the uh, rooms by putting in furniture so we have a visual representation of how big the room size is. Because as, as students right now, we don't know whether a 10 by 10, 10 feet by 10 feet is good enough, or, or do we want to make the room bigger than that one? Okay? So. Uh, let's discuss now corners. So if you wanted to like make a corner, and because you only have a straight line here, and when you're pushing this out, okay, uh, you can see that it's continuously being straight. Okay, uh, so you have to adjust again any wall division and snap that to the wall. But if you want to make a corner, every time you click on a uh, wall, it would show you like this green marker, okay, and that's simply a selection point. So I can select it somewhere here, and then I have to go here and click in corner. When you click on that one, it divides that wall into two parts. And then if I click on this one, I can now push that out or simply push that in. So now I'm creating corners, okay? Uh, and this little space here would probably be a hallway. So if I pull that out here, there's no hallway, but if you have another one here, Okay, you would have to draw a wall somewhere here, okay, and then just move it and snap that into place like that. Okay, then that would be the hallway. Um, now, to determine whether this hallway is um, is wide enough, okay, you can create a um, um, a a division here on this wall. Let's zoom in. Oop. You click here on this wall. Oop. Oop. Let's see. I accidentally moved that. I don't want to move that. And measure this measure this distance. But um, let's talk about the. Let's do this. Let's just put some door here to determine whether that this size is good enough. And then so. Go here, click here, and then click uh, doors and windows. And then we wanted a door, so we're going to click on and pull this down here. And you can see now this door, okay, the door is 2 foot 7, okay? So you can um, change this, I believe, the distance of this, uh, of this one by at changing it here. It's now the width of that door, but includes a jam, so you have to actually add three inches to the actual width. So if you want it to be um, um, doors for bedrooms around 32 inches, uh, so we typically use 36 inches as our basis. So 36 inches, press enter, and there you go. Okay, so as you can see, uh, if somebody is walking, there's enough space for this door to, to go here. Okay? So, but um, we'll talk about interior dimensions later, but right now, I just showed you how to create a corner, okay, using, if you, if you click in on a uh, wall, whoop, I'm going to click done, and if you click on a wall, it will have a marker, you can click corner, and then now you can push this in, click on this and push this in, or out to make to make corners like that, okay? So uh, that's the um, that's the lesson how to create corners, and then we can talk about this one on the next video, okay?